everyone, it's Nisha. So today in our wig video, I'm going to show you how I put my wigs on and what I use under my wigs. So this is not going to be pretty, but the things I do for you. So um, let me show you what you will need. The first thing you will need is a wig cap, which looks just like a small stocking. And again, you can get them on eBay just look for wig cup or you can get them at any wig store online or physical wig store so let me show you how i do it with this and and the reason you use this is to con contain your hair under the wig you know so there is no hair sticking out or bulking somewhere for me it is very easy because my hair is quite short uh, but if you have very long hair, what you would have to do is section it and maybe plait it and then um, sort of, you know, let me show you on this one. So say you had longer hair, you maybe would plait your hair, then go like this and pin it close to your head. It's much, much harder when you have long hair, but I've got short hair, so it's really easy. Okay. So my hair is quite flat because I've been wearing a wig. What I do is I brush my hair back and you see my hair is very, very short at the back now so I don't have much problem. Now I'm going to put the stocking on right behind my ears. That's pretty, isn't it? So about where your hairline starts and then these little bits that I have here I will take this comb and just push them under. If your hair is tiny bit um, longer you can sort of push it under and that's it. Now your wig you have to see where the front is also you have ear tabs here and ear tabs go right here i know don't think that they have to sit exactly on your ears they might be a bit higher and they are bendable so what you do so this is the front of my wig i grab it at the back you put it at the front first quite low on your forehead like this Stretch it, bring it right down. Now find the ear tabs and straighten them. Make sure that they are right evenly on your ears here. Now you see this is a bit low and now you pull this just to where your hairline starts. Now bend the ear tabs towards your head and that's your wig on. Now people say how secure they are. If someone run up and pulled it, it will come off, no problem. Um, the wind has never taken my wig off and I've been in a big wind, uh, so that's not a problem, but I have another product um, in a minute to show you which m will make your wig feel much more secure. And this is the wig grip. This is like a lovely velvety fabric with Velcro. It's a bit stretchy, but there is two sides to it. It's very important. When you feel it, when you go that way with your finger, one side is very smooth. If I go that way, I can feel friction and resistance. So you want to apply this. I hope I'm explaining this well. So you want to apply this band in a way that when you brush it backwards, you feel the resistance because that means your wig won't slip on it. If you brush it and it's very slippery, the wig will just slip on it. I hope you know what I mean. So you have to feel for it. So you can use this band now on the top of the cap. So the cap is there to contain your hair and then the band is to 
make your wig feel more secure also i've noticed like some of my wigs feel a bit bigger on my head um i feel that that makes the cap being a bit more snug i if i never use both because i might use i usually just have the cap that i've just put on but if i am somewhere windy and i worry maybe that my wig is a bit too loose or i worry that it might slip then i will just wear the wig grip um, and that is because my hair is so short i don't need the extra cap to contain my hair and that keeps my hair away from the face this is really lovely durable fabric you can wash it and if you wore it every day it should last you a year and i think they are only 10 pounds i think actually i might have a discount code for you um because that has been sent to me this wig grip a while ago now and i've been using it so let me just show you also remember that you have here at the back adjustable velcro straps so if your wig is a bit too loose you can tighten it so this is your <laughs> looks pretty so you would use this on the top of your cap but i don't need the cap i don't need this if i'm using the um, wig grip because like i said my hair is quite short so you see because i've put it that way it's even hard to slide it and it's really really soft and my hair is so short what i do i just push it a bit under this cap and now i can put my wig on again so again stretch it over find your tabs straighten the wig push the tabs in and move the front of the wig where your hairline is and this feels so much secure look i am actually really tagging on that wig but because of that friction on the headband it's not going anywhere i know a lot of people use um stay i think it's called and it looks like a glue stick it's especially for wigs it's water soluble um so what you do you would on the edges paint it on your skin and the wig will stick to it and then you get it off with water to me this is far too much fuss and i feel like this is so secure i i'm telling you the wig grip is amazing so that's how easy it is now let me show you how i make it a bit more natural this one is natural as it is but you know if my hair if the wind blow it you can sort of see the line and that's another thing good thing if you choose wig color similar to your hair because you can slightly incorporate your hair so what i would do here at the temple and above my ears I would pull out a bit of my own hair so now I've got my own hair here so it looks even more natural if you have a lace front wig you you don't pull your hair out of there because that lace front you know it mimics hair growing out of your of your forehead that would look just stupid if you pulled your hair from under here only on the sides and that's all i would do and my wig is really secure if the wind blows i have a bit of my own hair here but you can always cut yourself a fringe and then not worry about it you know then you don't see the hairline i've cut fringe in that one as well just a little one to to do that so this is what i would do with you know my lace front and monofilament now let me show you uh, what i would do with a wig like noriko that is no lace front no monofilament just standard cap okay so here is my noriko let me bring it a bit closer okay so there's my noriko as you can see it doesn't have a lace front it's got that just this solid edge 
so to make this one look a bit more natural i would pull depends where i want my party let's say let's say the parting is here i would pull some of my own hair just here at the front and you can pull, pull quite a lot of hair because you don't have that lace front and I would do that all the way around And now it looks like because this is all my hair so if someone looks closer it's growing out of my head the same here if I lift my hair there is my hair so if the wind blows And I just wanted to show you that there is no monofilament that you can see the scalp lock on my other wigs but because of the root and the permatease that doesn't really matter. So I think these wigs are quite easy to make look natural but they have to be very similar color to your own hair color to be able to do that obviously. So yeah. So that's all I do. I don't do much more with my wigs. Like I said, the lace front and monofilament ones don't need much doing because they already look quite uh, natural, but that's all you can do with the standard cup with this one. Obviously, if you had very dark hair and um, you bought a blonde wig, then you have to make sure that that wig has you know, enough coverage everywhere that your own hair doesn't poke out. Uh, from it or if you have a very short wig you might you might have to be careful that your own dark hair doesn't poke out from the blonde wig because that would be a dead giveaway um that's why i i try to buy wigs that match my own hair color so this is how i put a wig on it's pretty simple there is nothing to it the wig grip is really really good i would really recommend it for 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 those of you who worry that your wig won't be secured you saw how i pulled my wig and there was no way i mean yes i'm um, i mean if someone really really yanked you by the hair but uh, hopefully that's not going to happen um this makes your hair very secure okay my lovelies so i hope that was helpful thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous bye